Lucas Media. So I just got watched, got through watching this video. And shout out to Willie D. I saw on his channel as well. This father, you know, giving his son an old school butt whooping. The son, you know, was, uh, I guess he was going off on his sisters, trying to constantly fight with the sisters, cussing out the mom and cussing out the grandma, disrespecting them and telling his father, you know, I'm going to get it together, but then I'm not, but then he don't. Then he ended up telling his father, basically, you know, he'll end up putting his hands on him. So the father confronts him about it. Then he finally just, the father ended up whooping him, you know, he was like, let's get it. Come on. And I was looking at the comments, honestly, and a and majority of people was agreeing with that. And I agree as well. Sometimes, man, these people just need to get their ass whooped. These kids and, you know, I got, I got three teenagers they be trying it sometimes, you know, you got to go a little old school on them. This generation, this it's really, and really, I'm going to say it's the millennials. We started this. You want your kids to be your friends. And, you know, I, I don't want to hurt my kids. I don't want to see them cry. You know, a lot of brothers, they don't show up. They only show up uh, at a football game or they only show up at a graduation. And you don't even see your kids for three, four years. You see stuff like this, but we need old school. And this okay, even my even my, my father, my father was born in the 1940s. The way he told me you would get your ass whoops by your parents, your neighbors, your school teachers. And guess what? You didn't see a lot of talking back back then. You seen everybody call the, the, the elders Mr. and Mrs. They respected everybody. You know, all Miss Johnson had to do was say something to you back in the in the 50s and call your mama and you getting your ass by your mama and your daddy. You know, listen to all the old folks, how they all said the community raise these kids but we don't have no community no more and this is all we see is disrespect these kids really feel like they can be disrespectful and i guarantee you, i won't be surprised let me just say i won't be surprised if if, if that boy because the audio card is kind of bad and i posted a link as well i wouldn't be surprised if he still live at home you know and and i got nephews and my kids like yeah i can't be how the hell y'all gonna be disrespectful living in a house but that's this generation especially this gen z they feel like they can tell you they can tell you what to do you got to respect them like an adult but still baby them in the house that you pay for so no he needed it he needed that sometimes you know the cubs you gotta you, you gotta put the cubs back in their place and this was just a situation of it so i stand by the father you know, I don't agree with things being recorded, but I you I could the, the quality so bad, but no man, you need to get you cussing your mom, you cussing your mom out and your grandma and your little sisters, and he probably a good 17, 17 foot job, man. Find you something to do. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. We need more like things like this. Our community be a whole lot better. And people started putting their hands back on their kids. And again, I'm not talking about no abuse. I'm talking about stuff like this. Your sons don't come home till two, three in the morning. Then there needs to be punishments for it. You want to disrespect your mama? It's going to be some punishment for it. I would have net man what my father, but my father was a bodybuilder, but I wish I would try to disrespect him and tell him I'm going to uh, see you. I'm going to fight you. My father been passed away almost over 20 years and I'm still scared of him, but I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.